getting ready to fire up Mr. Clean because he got some new shoes that got to go on this thing today. A lot of other shenanigans are going to be trying to vlog for you guys. Super icy. Ooh. 22 degrees out right now. So it's freaking cold. Well, I guess it's pretty normal for what it's supposed to be this time of year, but I guess with all this warm weather we've been spoiled with, it's pretty cold compared to the 40s, 50s, and random 60s we've been having in December. <laughs> but it ain't too cold for the old girl fire. On the road in Mr. Clean, and on out to get these new tires put on this thing is the start of the morning here. I really am hoping that I can show them to you on the truck today. I should be able to. I don't think it's going to be over there too long. All I know is I'm going to drop this off and then I'm going to pick up the vlog with my dad. He's going to pick me up actually from the shop to get these mounted and balanced. And then we're going to run and do a couple things. I'm going to try to vlog with him and then we're going to get back over there, pick up my truck and drop his truck off. So I don't know. I'm hoping that I get a lot of content so that I can make this into like two different videos. We're going to be there soon and then we'll pick up the vlog with my dad. What's happening? It's been different, you know, in the life of a gym rat, you know. Gym rat. Gym rat. Out working out every morning, 5 a.m., it's it's just different. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like, it's been a little over a week, as okay? I, as I smile, my face goes <laughs> <laughs> No, but we got our, we got our loud and proud coffee mug. King Ranch needs uh, oil change, so, you know. Oh. Yeah, you notice the big orange light. The, yeah, it doesn't let you see anything else until you change the oil, right? Where you just keep clicking you okay. Can hit okay, like every three minutes, and then it's fine. <laughs> Get some oil change in the King Ranch, and then uh, you've got some. Oh, yo. <laughs> he had some tires in the back seat, and then I just dropped off Mr. Clean to get some new tires put on there. Hopefully they don't have any issues with that because last time there was a bead issue with the tire, but it wasn't you know a normal situation. But I'm just hoping they don't have any issues with this because last time that was annoying. I had to keep calling me, and they're like, "Oh, this isn't gonna work." I'm like, "Keep trying." Like, "It's not gonna work." I'm like, "Keep trying." And then like finally I went and saw it, and then I took it to another tire guy in town, and he's like, "Dude, there's no way these things are gonna work because the bead was so chewed up." I think you guys remember what happened. Oh, I'm hoping my tires are fine too. Internet special. But they are Toyos. They are Toyos AT2s. But mine were Toyos that I had problems with, which oh, is oh crap. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. They were they were nice Toyos. Whoever shipped them, FedEx or UPS or whoever, they set like some heavy boxes like on the bead, like like inside the tire, and it just deformed the bead and it just ruined it. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm So we got the truck here. He's actually draining the oil right now. And replacing cab light bulbs. What actually happened to those? The old ones? They were flashing. Okay. And then cuz we were going to replace them or what the happened? Wrong ones or something or they didn't work. Yeah, I don't remember so I either. I just took them all out because they would just randomly flash. Okay. And then I'm hoping that these ones I got now they're LED ambers and I got the ambers because they were the clear. Yeah. But my mirrors are amber. So I wanted to kind of match them up. Okay, so what I would do though is I would this is something I learned a long time ago. I would put one in and then flip your cab lights on to test before screwing them all back on. Hey, they turned on, you're good. Looks good, sweet. You don't even have lights in there right now. No, I took them out. <laughs> well, because only like half of them worked or something and then you're like, eh, I'm just gonna leave them out. It was cheaper just to get four instead of five. <laughs> Bingo. One more. Ooh, my camera almost slid off the cab when you shut the door. How do you feel finally having cab lights again for the first time in how many months? A few. Several. Several. Probably close to a year. Close to a year? I don't know. It's, it's been that long? It's been a minute. Looks good. So it's like 20 degrees out here, right? My dad's skid loaders. It's doing what it's made to do. Be warm. This is amazing. This is so good. Off-roading, man.
my goodness. This thing looks so much better with this tire setup on it. It's the same size tire in terms of height. Instead of a 12 and a half wide, it's a 14 and a half wide on a 14 wheel. It looks really good. Can't wait to show it to you guys. So we're gonna actually, dad's dropping his truck off and then he's gonna hop in here and then hopefully we can show you the setup here in a little bit. But I gotta run and sell some wheels and tires at the house real quick. We gotta do a couple things and then uh, hopefully I can show this to you. This thing looks so sweet. Okay, so here is the new tire setup for Mr. Clean. I got the Venom Power 33 by 14 and a half R22s, of course, to fit the wheels. And again, the main purpose of this, the other tires had plenty of tread. I just did not like how stretched they were. So if you look down, straight down the side of the truck and straight down the wheel and tire setup, you don't see the rim hanging out anymore. Now you can still curb these if you're getting too close, but that extra amount of rubber coming out over is definitely gonna help protect that lip of that wheel and not tear it up so bad. And that was really the whole purpose of that. I just didn't want it to get ruined. And I do have these tires back here still. I'm probably gonna end up selling these for fairly cheap to somebody who wants them. They're 33 1250R22s. Tread's not bad, just not the tire that I wanna run on a wheel this wide. What's your thoughts on this thing with the new tire setup? Because you only saw it on the other setup for a brief moment. Yeah, just a brief moment and just in the videos. But Compared? Before and these after. Are, I like these a lot better than the stretch look. Oh yeah, for sure. But that's probably just because I'm more mature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ace Ventura when I pull through the bank because even when I'm pulling through the bank, I stick my head out the window into King Ranch and I'm looking so I can get as close as possible. I don't know that I'd be able to reach it before I even get through. No, you, no, you're not getting through most banks with a setup but that wide. In the same sense, you could probably straddle the concrete on both sides. That's true. That way, and just that's that's true. Take a mirror off. It's it's wide enough that you could just fold the mirrors in, go up onto yeah. the barriers between. Just don't try to go through any Taco Bells. Really sharp corners getting around those. Corners. That is how they all. Why are they all like that? Almost all of them are like that. Impressed with uh, how clean that paint is. Yeah, yeah, it does look good. Does look good for sure. I just like the black and white. It reminds me a little bit of old white. Old whitey. Dude. This actually looks a little bit cooler than old white. But. Yeah. <laughs> Wheels and tires, man, they do something. Yeah. They do something for sure. I actually really like this LED strip the guys put you in along I the back. That when you pull it up to get the tires fixed, that was pretty cool. It's a turning signal as well. It's pretty sweet. That's powered via this thing here. It's this, no, that's, um, this is actually an adapter that goes from here to inside the, inside the bed, okay. so that you Let's don't see. have to have separate wiring, and then if you need to use this instead of the bed, you just unplug it and just plug in your, yeah, it's kind of a quick, easy solution. It's a $20 adapter kit. But no, the strip Option. is plugged in with this. Yeah. That's for the LED strip on the back. But yeah, tires look sweet. I'm happy with that setup. I mean, it, why, it made it look so much wider, even though the rim is not any wider, the technical offset's not any different. Just that wider tire, big blocky wide tire, just made it look so much, made it look so much stinking wider for some reason. I haven't seen Nasty Red since you got the new dash in. Yeah, it, the dash is probably the cleanest part in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> we were using it for quite the hunting truck for a while. So you got camo in there, deer tags in the dash, stuff like that. But no, it's pretty clean. It just needs a deep vacuuming and everything else. All you have to do, just make sure you hype this thing up because the giveaway is gonna end in, you know, two or three days. And then this is the nasty red, like the one and only. It's iconic. You know what I mean? This might be one of the last times you see nasty other than the fact that you might be driving it around this afternoon. Are you gonna miss the nasty at all? It's a little sad. It's a little sad? It's a little sad. <laughs> And I felt really bad the other day. I had uh, one of my neighbors, uh, an older gentleman. Uh, you've seen him on other videos, Randy. Oh yeah, Randy. And he comes in, uh, I was talking to him, and he was like, you saw that flatbed truck with the plow? I'm like, nah, Malachi has it now. He's giving it away. He's like, well then we're both screwed because who's gonna plow our drive? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I have even forgot about that. Like I usually take care of him for the last 10 years making sure he's all. Yeah, because you had one on the 7.3 and then you got plow mounts put on this, so you always had a plow to 
Yeah, that is that is something I didn't really think about. You need to get something to, to pull with this thing, because that little gorilla cart's cool, but this thing is built for more than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe Friday's video, we can pull something behind it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Show them one last rock. Some people say that I overdid it with the traction bars in this thing. But if you're gonna go big, go big. I, you know I mean, mean, if you're gonna go, if I you're didn't gonna cut go, corners on that. if you're gonna go big, go long. Yeah. Right. I didn't cut corners on that. No, the traction bars are 25 feet. They're overkill. They're. <laughs> everybody who sees this thing, they're like. Those are way longer in person. <laughs> I didn't know it until they showed up in the mail when I ordered them because they just got the, the better ones that I could find. And then they show up in the box, it's like forever long. I'm like, what is yeah. going on? Yeah, no kidding. Those things are freaking long yeah. traction bars. I think but Devin put those on, didn't Yeah, he? yeah, he did. Yep. Devin did actually a handful of things to this truck. He did the front leveling kit, he did the upper and lower control arms, right? Because we couldn't get them done. And then uh, he also did the traction bars the same time he did the, the control arms, I believe. One he, of my favorite things about this truck, for whatever reason, is I like the Anthem sticker on the front. I've always liked that. And then I liked all the little stickers in the back that we put there. I do like that, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've yep. been really happy with this truck for the 500 miles I put on it or whatever. You put a lot of miles on it compared I put, to me. I put, like, a couple thousand, anyway. 6,000 miles on it yeah. since I got it from you. I was just telling somebody the other day, he was asking me if I like uh, the Cummins or the Power Strucks. I'm like, well, Cummins, I probably have a total of about a thousand miles. Yeah, between the two that between he the had. Two that I've had 12 hours. Power Strucks, probably closer to 400,000. Oh, yeah, easily. Well, yeah, I'll miss it. We'll miss it. But actually, I take it back. It's not going to be the last time you see it because you're going to drive it today and then you're going to see it on Friday. That's the plan, as long as everything goes to plan. This is a reminder for your last few days to enter, last couple days to enter, and then this giveaway will be gone. LMPgear.com, place an order. Every $1, 25 entries to win. Nasty red, five grand, and a Western snowplow. Yeah, it's a commercial grade. Commercial grade so it's Western snowplow. Yeah. It is very, I showed him a video of it the other day. Like when you lift it up, the whole front end goes, the swing just broke. <laughs> we like look over and the swing just like, the whole front just shatters off of it. Anyways, it's a heavy stinking duty plow, but it makes it nice because it pushes through a lot of snow and ice instead of just like, you know, those cheap lightweight ones. They just don't, they just don't cut through it the same. Don't try to drop a railroad track while you have the plow on. Oh no, That's bad. the back end will come up. <laughs> So that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked the new tire setup on Mr. Clean and the new cab lights on the King Ranch. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.